No matter what the topic, anytime we post a video on our channel, somebody asks about my 2018 Mustang and asks if I have the dreaded tick. Now today we're going to talk about what that tick could be, what causes it, and if it's something you should really be worried about. Now, if you somehow haven't been on social media for the last year, the tick I'm referring to is also known as the barbecue tick, and it sounds like an igniter for a barbecue. It's like a clicking sound that comes from the bottom of the engine. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the tick, here's the sound we're talking about. Listen to this video. It's going to be light. You're not going to hear it real clearly, but it's going to be an inconsistent ticking sound. Now, if you're curious if your car has this problem, parking up against a wall or in a tunnel makes it even easier to hear. Now, this has been a real, real hot topic lately with the 2018 Mustang. This noise has actually been around since 2011. Even the prior Coyote, the Gen 1 and Gen 2, had a similar problem. Now, why is it so popular now all of a sudden for 2018? There's a couple different theories. One of them, I believe, is the oil pan. Now, they went to a composite pan. Any noises inside the engine, in my opinion, will actually transmit outside a lot easier than a conventional steel pan. The other one, to me, is social media. There's a lot of people who are posting about the tick commenting about it who don't even own these cars. They've never owned an 18, they never owned one, but it's a hot topic, so they're making videos about it. There's a couple YouTubers like Xander13 who've actually brought this up, and I applaud him because he's 100% correct. A lot of people who are talking about this and complaining about this don't even own these cars, but they want the views, and unfortunately that's hurting the Mustang hobby. But what is the tick? Let's talk a little bit more about what's probably causing it. So what is the cause of the tick? Honestly, there is not a 100% answer. We're going to go through some theories and talk about some things in a minute. What we're going to talk about first is what isn't the tick. There's a lot of things that people hear on these cars that may not be familiar with the 18 through 19 that they think is a tick and it actually isn't. And one of them is the direct injection pump. These are going to make a clicking noise. This is perfectly normal. The tick we're talking about, you're going to hear more from under the car, not so much on top. But we're going to fire this car up and let you listen to what the DI pump sounds like. Again, that's a consistent ticking that's normal. The tick we're talking about that could be a problem is going to be a lot more intermittent. And here the ticking here is very consistent. That is normal for a DI pump. This is actually the way it's supposed to sound. This is definitely not going to be an issue. Now, another theory fairly common is rod knock. Now, while it could be an issue with a bearing, it could be rod knock, rod knock is usually a consistent noise where this is not so consistent. Rod knock also is going to get louder when the engine warms up. A lot of people are saying this is going to get quieter. So what is causing the tick? Well, in my opinion, one of the more popular theories is piston slap. Now, what is piston slab? Now, you'll have to excuse my prop here. Yes, I know this is a Chevy piston, but there's excessive side-to-side -side movement in the piston when it's in the cylinder. So well, this is designed to go up and down inside the cylinder. If it goes side to side a little bit, these edges can hit the cylinder wall, and that is piston slap. Now, when it gets worse, this can actually eventually score the cylinder wall and damage the engine. Now, there are people who've had their engine replaced because of this tick, and it was because of excessive scoring, which does lead me to believe it could be a piston slap issue. Now, what's causing that? Is it the piston? Is it the cylinder wall? There's a lot of different theories on what's causing it. It could simply be the piston itself, but one of the more popular theories is the liners. The new Coyote engine does not use a conventional liner. It uses the plasma arc liner, which basically sprays molten metal down to the cylinder wall, and then it gets honed before the piston gets installed. That process, a lot of people feel, could actually cause a little bit of a clearance or tolerance issue, which might be where the piston slap's coming from. So we talked about the noise, we talked about what might be causing it. Now, how do you fix it? Well, in our case, between the three cars we have here, none of them have actually had the noise. This car, I think every once in a while, I swear I hear a slight version of it. We've never been able to document it or get it on video though. So how do you fix it? Well, there's a couple different theories. First of all, if you're doing an oil change and there's metal in your oil, get the car to the dealer. Have the dealer take a look at it. Metal means you probably have scoring or bearing failure, and that's gonna take out the engine eventually. That's the time that Ford might replace your engine under warranty. The next option is going to be something with the oil. Some people like a heavier weight oil, run a 540 or 550 or even 530 over the normal 520. There's been a lot of cases where that has fixed the problem. The other option is going to be something like a Ceratec, which is going to be an additive. Ceratec is a ceramic-based friction modifier that a lot of guys have had a lot of success with, again, getting rid of the noise. Third option, and probably the most common option, is simply to live with it. More than likely, the tick that you're hearing is not damaging anything inside the engine. It's annoying, it's frustrating, but if it's not causing damage, more than likely Ford is not going to replace your engine. So while I wish I could say, here's the cause of the tick and here's how you can fix it, even though this has been a problem since 2011, there really is no concrete thing yet. There's been plenty of issues with this, documented issues. Lots of people, though, have had 100,000 plus miles of abuse on their car with no problem, even though it's making that tick noise. 
Now, Ford's aware this is a problem. Ford even has a term for it. They call it the typewriter tick. But again, there is no set way to fix it at this point. It's an issue that unfortunately some of us are going to have to live with. Now, I do think in the case of the 2018, so a lot of people are trying to make these cars look bad and they really aren't a bad car. I mean, there's been transmission issues and now the tick issue, but these are issues that other Mustangs have had as well. But for some reason, people just really focus on the 2018 through 2019. But like I said, I'd like to hear from you if you're having a problem. Did you have a tick on your 18 through 19? Did you get it fixed somehow? Let us know in the comments below. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.